Welcome back everybody to Top Tier Studios. This is episode 5, and in this episode we're going to be continuing what we worked on last episode. If you remember, last episode was all about creating that double launching dueling coaster. So it has that cops and robbers theme as well. So that's kind of what we're going to work on today. We're going to develop that theme a lot, and we're also going to work on the station and the exit. Because that was one thing that we really did neglect, was that exit path, and there was a good reason for it. Basically, I had to get the layout for the coaster and where that station was going to be before I could place that down. And I didn't know where exactly the coaster was going to go. So I waited till the very end to place it down, and I did, but I didn't connect it to the path. And the reason for that is because it's going to have to go through some sort of building, or and it's also going to have to go over the coaster track, but I didn't know exactly where that building was going to be. So uh, we had to wait till now to actually do that. So you might be wondering why I didn't place that down first. And the reason for that is because it's actually going to go into a building. So we're actually going to be creating that building first. So that building is actually going to be a firehouse or a fire station. So we are actually working on that right now. We make the fire truck. There's going to be like a model truck, you know, that you could take pictures by. And also there's going to be a couple of shops. Basically, it's like if you were in a huge amusement park and you get off a ride and you go straight into the gift shop from the exit path. So that's kind of the idea here. But instead of being a gift shop, we're placing down a couple of food stalls and a restroom block. So we're going to have pizza pen and chief beef and then we'll have a restroom block as well. But uh, still, now that we have these shops placed in here right now, we you might be wondering, well, where is this path exactly going to go? And um, it, there's going to be a cut right here in one second, and that will be there. So basically, the pathing is on top of the main floor of that um, gift shop. And the reason for that is because I could not get the pathing to spiral how I wanted it to, or really just go down to where I needed it to connect to the pathing. So this is my last option that I had, and I actually really like how it came out because it gave me an area to actually put a bunch of picnic benches and stuff so that's what I came up with and I'm actually kind of happy and it really does kind of hide the pathing as well and it develops this building a lot so um, then the stairs are on the back side and there's a little bit of like backstage scenery I guess you could say there, there'll be a little bit of garbage trans and stuff back there and then um, that's pretty much it we're working on the top of this I wanted one side to be like a tower and then one side to be um, just the flat um, regular um, roofing to it so that's kind of what we're working on here and we put in some custom fences just to kind of give it a little bit of extra texture but that is building one pretty much out of the way uh, we used it's a two-tone I guess two-tone building one side is this um, nice brick and stuff and that would be more of like the office side where all the lockers are and um, where the people where the firefighters could just kind of lounge around and rest and then we have this like garage looking one and that's where the um, actual fire trucks and stuff would be held um, along with any of the equipment that they needed so it's kind of like the idea of the layout for this and then um, for our next building, which we haven't gotten to yet, but we will in one second, is going to be the station building, and it's also going to house the queue for this coaster. And we also had to put in just a little bit of uh, advertisement there for our pizza pen and our little firehouse, like, um, restaurant and stuff. But now we are actually moving on to this, um actual station wow and what this station is going to be themed to is the cop like police station so um this one was a little bit harder to make and the reason for making like why it was so hard is because it was a um the station had the track going under it as well and since it's not directly in the center of the station i had to kind of make shift had, or um, walls and stuff and that kind of it took a little while to get it but I got it eventually and I'm I'm happy with it came out, how it came out it's not really noticeable so it can be a little bit uh, not as well like not as neat as the front of the building needs to be and we also kind of have to move the padding around just a little bit to fit the building and we're also gonna do a little bit of interior theming there's gonna be a little window there and I'll tell you guys why in one second after we get this shell going so basically this building is almost like a step structure and the highest point is gonna be in between the high five roll uh, between the two 
dueling coasters. It's going to be like a little pillar up there with some radar stuff going on. It kind of like, a, or maybe like a helicopter pad could be up there as well. But, um, and then it'll be a step down on both sides and there will be roofing under the high five roll. And then it'll be another step down to where it's like, um, flat with the actual building and it's, uh, it would be like the second floor. So, uh, that's kind of where this building is heading. But, um, I did put in a bunch of windows, and it is a little bit of a plain, like, not really nice looking, uh, building, I guess you could say. It doesn't have that much theming to it. I will put in some signage and stuff, and on the inside there will be a little bit of theming, as I said before. And also, the reason why those windows are down on the inside, looking at the, uh, when you transition to the robber part of the coaster, basically that's kind of like the jail cell is what I wanted to kind of theme it to. And, um, I don't think I put any really iron bars in there but like that's what would be in there and we had to do a little bit of terrain painting in here as well because it's not going to be grass it would actually be like a tile floor or something like that and since the queue pretty much takes up every space in this whole building there was no need to do some hardcore theming like i did maybe let's say in the um golden gold Tr mine train that we made uh, in the last series so um, this one is just some super basic because it's all like cattle pen so there will be a little bit like a chief beef um, little mini figure I guess I think that's what it is it's I don't know it's like a waving sign that I found and you know it, it kind of fit in the area so um, I kind of went with it and that's kind of like um, how fits the storyline as well on how you're kind of being dispatched to go find this and Chief Beef is like telling you all the details and stuff he's like briefing you for the mission so that's kind of what I went for here but um, now that we are kind of keep working on this we're getting to uh, more of the higher levels here we're also gonna have to do some custom supporting for this coaster and uh, that won't be done until next episode as well because we're gonna do a little bit more with this coaster next episode and speaking of next episode that little um, kind of uh, preview I guess you could say basically in the next episode I'll tell you guys this there will be a POV for the roller coaster in the end of the next episode so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but anyway, now that we're working on this top and the roofing and stuff, um, this custom supporting is going to be onto the top of this building here. And that's just because there's actually no um, actual supporting, like supports, until you get onto the other side of the path. And that's a really long time for the coaster to have without a support. So um, I kind of just went with it and I needed to actually build some supports, which I really have never done in this game. So um, it's the pretty much the first time I've done it but I think it came out really well I used the color scheme of the coaster already and it worked but then that's the little waving sign that I found and then we have our chief beef um, ad advertisements as well chief beef there and then we got our pizza pen over there and then uh, set that advertation ad oh my gosh advertisement location for the um, shop that we have and that's pretty much it so now it's just a little bit of extra theming that we're putting in here along with those supports I did put in a sign here though it does say just police station really simple and uh, that's pretty much it um, and then we're gonna do those custom supports as well so there's not really that much left to this episode after we do this custom supporting uh, we got pretty much all what we needed to get out we still have a couple more minutes though of the coaster and at the end of this episode like this one we all have a little um, video just kinda showing the people interacting with the fire station coming off of that exit path and you can just can see how it works now one thing that I don't like about like how this whole thing worked and that might just be be because like of the amount of people that were in the park but nobody went from the, from the downstairs part of the fire station to the upstairs part to use those benches I don't know I don't know why but they just didn't and it might have been just because nobody was actually not many people were buying like from the actual shop but uh, they weren't really utilizing it, which was kind of sad because I, I, I had come up with that idea and figured it would work. But maybe uh, in the future when we have a lot more people in this park, maybe it will look a little bit better and it will actually function a lot better as well. So uh, putting in these custom supports here, we had to do two for the blue side, the cop side, and only one for the robber side right now. In the next episode, we'll do a little bit more because, as I said uh, in the next episode, uh, we'll be finishing this coaster. 
and that's going to entail um, another building on the opposite side of the path. And that's actually kind of what I was looking into right now. Uh, you can see I'm just scrolling and scrolling through the scenery items, and I couldn't find anything that I really wanted to use. Uh, I was going to use the facades, and you'll see me try that here, but it just it didn't look right. So I'm actually going to build a whole building again, but this one's going to have a slightly different feel to it. We are still in the city area, but it's got to start feeding into our next area, which I'll talk about a little bit more in the next episode, as we are actually going to be finished with this city area next episode and uh, one last thing that we got to do is make this feel a little bit more like a jail cell I use these elevator doors I wanted to use the iron bars but they weren't animated so I had to use these and I, I would make it work it's kind of nice it's um, really plain and that's pretty much it it just needs to be plain put in a little bit of trigger sequence which you guys can see here because it's not that bad of a bad like that boring I guess because it's only two things but we have reached the end of this episode, so make sure to tune in next week for a POV of this coaster. And with that being said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to have an amazing day. Peace.